Hello and welcome to Night Prayer. As you join us online, I hope that you'll say that you're here. Participate in the liturgy, type Amen and thanks be to God and share your prayer concerns that they may be shared in community. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Jenny and Dave. Hi, Donna. Welcome. <clears throat> Hi, Catherine. Welcome. Hi, Jack. <laughs> Let us begin. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. From the rising of the sun to its setting, your glory is proclaimed in all the world. Hi, Lyle. Welcome. Blessed are you, sovereign God, our light and our salvation. To you be glory and praise forever. You gave your Christ as a light to the nations, and through the anointing of the Spirit, you established us as a royal priesthood. As you call us into your marvelous light, may our lives bear witness to your truth, and our lips never cease to proclaim your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed. Now, as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy to be praised at all times by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. That this night may be holy, good, and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. Psalm 31 says, In you, O Lord, I seek refuge. Do not let me ever be put to shame. In your righteousness deliver me. Incline your ear to me. Rescue me speedily. Be a rock of refuge for me, a strong fortress to save me. You are indeed my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that is hidden for me, for you are my refuge. Into your hand I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, faithful God. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Jeremiah 1 says, Now the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you, and before you were born, I consecrated you. And in Matthew 28, Jesus said, Remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. Our canticle is from Isaiah 55. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake their way and the unrighteous their thoughts. Let them return to the Lord that he may have mercy on them. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. 
For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are your way, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven and do not return there until they have watered the earth making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose and succeed in the thing for which I sent it. We'll continue with the responsory from Isaiah 60. The refrain is, the glory of the Lord is rising upon you. Arise, shine, for your light has come. God's salvation has been openly shown to all people. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. With all our heart and all our mind, let us pray to the Lord. I invite you to share your prayer concerns in the chat and comments that they may be shared in community, to say them out loud wherever you are worshiping tonight, or to hold them silently in your hearts. Pray for the Degree family. We pray for Noah. We pray for Mike Hunsinger and Pam Lucas. For Micah, Hunter, Lily, and Ryder. For Pat Mullen. For Barbara Duvall. For the family of Ann Goss, for Sandy Harmon, for Shannon Jones, for all those living in assisted living, especially Iris and Ann and Liz and Tim, Jim and Gerald and William. For all those who are grieving. For all those who are sick with COVID. And for hospital workers. For all these that we've named and for those who remain in our hearts and on our minds, we pray. Almighty God, in Christ you make all things new. Transform the poverty of our nature by the riches of your grace and in the renewal of our lives, make known your heavenly glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Believing the promises of God, let us pray with confidence as our Savior Jesus Christ has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May Christ, who sends us to the nations, give us the power of his spirit. Amen. Go in peace.